Much of who Kyle has become is a lot like who Morgan is. Kyle Richards' marriage isn't the only relationship that seems to be imploding in front of our eyes on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Dorit Kemsley can't help but question where she stands with her former bestie Kyle as she feels like she's being replaced by Morgan Wade. And it's leaving Dorit without a BFF when she could probably need one. Why did you bring it up, Dorit? Why did you bring it up? Why did you bring it up? Yikes. So let's get into it. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, episode 9, season 13. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Dorit and Kyle have been close for almost a decade at this point, so she's understandably a bit shocked to hear that Kyle tattooed her own initial onto Morgan's arm. You've literally wow. been friends for a year, and now... No, two years, but that doesn't matter. And I don't know what Dorit is implying here, but it's definitely going in the evidence pile for fans who think Morgan and Kyle are more than friends. My husband put my name on his arm. I don't know what that says about Kyle tattooing her name on Morgan's arm, but that is a really, really close friendship. Dorit does seem genuinely hurt by Kyle's relative disinterest in her lately. Literally, I feel I like forget. I'm an afterthought. Well, I guess I have to put your initial on my body for you to actually care. She says that while Kyle and her used to go away together a couple times a year, she's not even invited on Kyle's trips anymore. And while Sutton and Garcelle have gotten a ton of backlash for pointing out the changes in Kyle this season, Dorit sees them too. People are like, I don't understand this friendship. Well, I mean, you are kind of morphing and into one another. Kyle doesn't agree that her relationship with Morgan is changing anything, though. She pins the change in her relationship with Dorit on how she didn't support her when Kyle was going through the whole drama with sister Kathy Hilton last year. That doesn't feel like a friend to me. And it's a real bummer their friendship's on the rocks because Dorit could have used a friend at Crystal's Taco Tuesday. Not only does she get accused of trying to embarrass Sutton when she retells a story about her making out with her driver that we were already told on camera, she becomes the target of Naimum. 2.0. Well, then why'd you bring it up? First of all, are you getting why did you bring it up, Garcelle? Why did you bring it up? Why did you bring it up? We were going back. Why did you forth. bring it up? Dorit then says she feels like Garcelle is attacking her. Not a great word choice. And she can't seem to understand when Garcelle points out her privilege just getting to throw that accusation around. Like in 2023, Dorit. I'm good. I'm not here to educate you. Instead of taking the L, Dorit pivots to Denise Richards and Erica to see if everything got cleared up after Kyle's weed party. And honestly, someone throw this girl a life vest. Bring it down a notch. But now, funnily enough, the Erica-Denise fight did pop off only when Dorit left. It all goes back to the threesome talk from seasons ago. Denise says Erica insinuated her 14-year-old daughter was having threesomes, but Erica says it's more like she knew what they were. And this hits a little below the belt. Okay, your oldest daughter's on OnlyFans. She doesn't know. And this hits a lot of bit. I think it's great. I just want to know who's more profitable, you or Sammy. Now this fight's going to pop off for sure when The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills returns after the holidays. You know we'll be recapping it. So like and subscribe and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>